Hello, this is Miles McGeehan, and I'm going to share with you today how to create a mashup within your LMS. So what is a mashup? Well, it's any time you embed one website into another. We've been doing a few of these in the past when we've embedded YouTube videos into our LMS. Today I'll show you how to embed full-on other websites into the LMS. And the nice thing about a mashup is that it contains the other website within your LMS so that students don't have to leave. They don't have to juggle different tabs or different browser windows. They may participate in a simulation or in a collaborative document that's embedded within the LMS. So the skin of the LMS, this area around the outside is still there, but the content in the middle would be a, a, a totally uh, independent web page that the student can manipulate. That sounds a bit abstract, so let me show you an example. Alright, so I'm going to embed a Google Doc that students can mark up and, and uh, leave comments on within uh, this week 7 folder. I've got a Google Doc already created in my other browser. And uh, this is just a, a brief little example, and I will post this so that participants in this hybrid learning course may add an inspirational quote below mine. But now that I've made this Google Doc, I'm going to use the share privileges, and I'm going to set it so that anyone who has the link can edit. I could use the change button to toggle that feature. And again, it's anyone with the link and then can edit. And then I'm going to take this URL here and copy it. I'm going to jump back to our LMS in my other browser. And now I'm going to build some content. This time I'm going to use a web link. So I'm going to link to another web page. Let's give this a name. I'm going to paste the Google Doc URL into this location. I'm going to give a brief description. I could choose to attach files here if I'd like, but I, I don't see the need right now, so I'm going to skip that. And then here's the important part. For this to be a true mashup, I'm going to say no. I don't want to open a new window. Now, the opposite is if I said yes, it would actually start a new window or a new tab, and the student would be able to participate in the website in that new tab and then just jump back over by tabbing over. Um, and sometimes that's preferred, so it's uh, something to explore. Try both of these settings and see how your uh, web content it appears differently and then make your decisions. All right, so here's how it appears. Please click in the title, so I left some directions below. And then a participant would click here. And now notice that the Google Doc is here and that all of the functions are fully available for participants to uh, include and, and edit the content here. But I still have the skin of the LMS course here. So I didn't really leave the course per se. The students could uh, navigate back within the course by using this breadcrumb right here. And then here we're back. So that's pretty slick. Embedding web pages within web pages, otherwise known as a mashup. Well, I hope you found this uh, brief instructional video helpful. And uh, until next time, have a great day.